Well, the market having a strong session today uh, for a number of reasons, but I think really most important among them, the fact that we are exiting the second week in a row with less pressure on the Federal Reserve to hike interest rates as economic data continues, for the most part, to come in below a consensus. Meanwhile, I think I just found my new favorite Federal Reserve official, Fed Governor Christopher Waller. He was appointed by President Trump, took his seat back in December. Now, he spoke at a virtual conference yesterday, and his plain spoken words and specific markers, I think, had a big impact on yesterday's session and today's. Right now, I think he might be the Fed's version of John Wayne. Remember the, ver- the John Wayne and Hondo? Think about that one. In fact, Dr. Julia Coronado uh, actually captured her best in a tweet saying, newly minted Governor Waller likes to use colloquialisms. The economy is ready to rip. Hitting the gas, going gangbusters. We heard the thud of forecasters' jaws hitting the floor after the J- April jobs report. He should be fun to listen to, and I agree. I want to bring the Bonson Group managing partner, David Bonson. All right, David. Governor Waller said inflation would have to be at 4% month after a month. He gave us a number. Uh, of course, the Fed overall working hard to prove they're not going to budge. Are you buying it? Oh, I'm not buying it on either side. I don't think they're going to get 4% inflation, and I don't think they're going to adjust on their numbers. That whole thing about uh, averaging a 2% target gives them all the wiggle room in the world since they went about 13 years below 2%. It's totally undefinable, and it just gives the Fed a lot of flexibility. Can they pull it off? Can, can, can they, they pull, pull it off, off till getting the in- no, no. Staying, well, staying the course, not having the inflation or the markets force their hands before their before you know twenty twenty four. Yeah, Charles, I'm going to take the over. I think that they're going to we're going to end up talking about on your show in 2024 if they're going to get off the zero bound in 25 or 26. <laughs> and I say that based on post financial crisis that everyone's talking about is it going to be two or three years and and so forth. Look, they, they took seven years last time. And then once they did it for a little bit, they chickened out a year or two later. The society is addicted to low rates and the Fed does not know what their exit strategy is. That's a fact. All right. Hey, let me ask you about uh, some big changes in, in, the, in the society overall. Really 180 degree changes of heart by the administration on mask and now opening schools full time in the fall. Your thoughts on that? Well, the science must have changed an awful lot in the last 24 hours, or there's some polling data that you and I are not uh, able to see that they all have, because this has been one of the biggest about faces in history, and yet it isn't something that I think we should even almost joke about, because the fact of the matter is, them saying that they can open schools in fall is something that everyone knew they could have done months and months and months ago, and I have no intention of forgiving the people that allow those children to go an entire year without school it's unforgivable david you're right you're absolutely right david bonson i always appreciate it thank you Uh, we'll talk again real soon and again we'll talk in 2024 about the rates as well